Okay, so... <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Okay. I don't know why I need to clap when I was thinking of the new one. Okay, so, Nintendo just released these patch notes. Like, basically right this second. Like, it's literally, like, 10 p.m. when they release this or something. It's very late, and I am trying not to be too loud, but... Uh, it's not helping, but... <laughs> anyways, um, so... They released these patch notes. They're going to release tomorrow or in 51 minutes. Um, I, did I just dox my time? Probably. Also, I am a little bit sniffly. I don't know why. I just randomly got it. Probably has to do with allergies. But we ball. But um, I just wanted to real quick get this. Because otherwise, like, um, I'm going to be late on the trend. And... I don't want to be late to the trend again. Let's let's start with the let's start with this. The trade in Sweet Metalworks has been changed. Obviously, um, great 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 change. I can't wait to see what they have in store. Um, hopefully they have it on rotation. Um, when I get on, if not, then suck a suck. I guess I'll have to wait. Um, ends up twenty eight to thirty. I don't get why they increase it by two points. But um, hey, what I, I, I guess it needs it. Nah. Why why did they change it from twenty eight to thirty? Not sure. It can deal a bit more damage to objects, I guess, but it's not going to change its shots to kill. That's basically it. I don't really know why. Um, it was fine before. It was fine in, in like slash out junior range, but I guess I guess top tiers need need top tier damage. Maybe I don't know. Uh, dynamo, widen the angle at which horizontal swings do maximum damage. Uh, I think that's smart because this is the giant roller, I would think it would do giant damage. Um, basically, it increases uh, the kill box, I guess. Um, I guess we're going to have to see how big that, how big the angle is. If it's back to Splatoon 1 where it was literally just the entire hitbox then we might have a problem but i don't think nintendo would do that if it's like a nor a normal amount i think dynamo might be a bit better uh oops, sorry um still not good the vertical flick would like to have some words but um yeah uh flings a roller got the same buff uh it also reduced the amount it takes for ink to recover after using a vertical flick, um, probably not going to be enough to make it better in the meta, but, um, hey, it'll make solo queue a bit more annoying, <laughs> just a teensy bit. Uh, ink brush, it basically increases speed at which you roll, which, honestly, I, I kind of like it. it. makes ink brush harder to hit, but, um... That probably isn't going to be an issue if you have a big hitbox. Splabrella reduced the amount of ink consumed when firing a shot. Um, probably not. Probably will be at least a bit impactful. More than a lot of other buffs that Weapon has historically got, but we'll have to see. Um, I don't think it's going to be much better, but like, I do think that, especially for the Cirilla kit, it's gonna make it a bit more threatening. Well, again, we'll have to see, but I like it because I'm a splat. I'm a Sorella Brella, uh, Sorella Brella main. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to say. Uh, so, then we had to undercovers. When the player holds zero to fire, they will not be able to jump higher than before. I don't know where this came from. Apparently, it was meant to fix like a jump penalty, but I don't know. Might make intercover umbrellas harder to hit, but probably not that much. So, yeah. Queezer got a slight rework. Um, it's uh, single shot mode got better, but the painting mode got a bit worse. Um, you know, it's it, it's a top tier. It'll it'll have some nerfs. Ballpoint slightly increases scatter shots fired on land at the longer flight range. So what this is saying is like. It increases the amount of paint that it gets from when it, like, does its long-range mode. 
I don't really know what this will do. Reduce the width of spray, dro spray droplets created by charge slashes by approximately 10%. So like, you're gonna have skinnier like charge beams, but 10% uh, doesn't seem like that much. I don't know. And also like, it's the, the charge slash isn't really like known for being super wide anyway. And then we got two special reworks. Um, not reworks, but like additions. Uh, Wave Breaker, uh, enemies around it will be marked for a short period of time. So it'll basically act like a small po point sensor on top of the waves being put out, which kind of cool, but it probably won't be that much better in the meta, especially with tactical or locating everybody. I don't see any tactical or nerfs here. Ink Storm. So originally they messed this up. They, it said opposing team's ink storm, um, and then it was changed to your own team's ink storm. So what it sounds like here is that basically it's a healing special now, which is very weird because I don't think any other special in the game, any other special in the series has ever dealt with healing. Like obviously there is regeneration and like Satoon, like you regenerate health whenever you're submerged in ink, but like there's no like there's no medigun, for example. I mean the closest thing you'd get to a medigun is the ink vac, but like that makes you more so invincible than like healing you. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, I kind of want it. Maybe maybe. This mean, maybe, just maybe, I could see a Slattershot Jr. with Inkstorm, maybe, maybe. Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't say that because the video idea. And then we had the points for special changes. 170p Neo Sploosh, uh, I don't get why this weapon needed a points for special reduction. Is it going to be used in competitive? Probably not. Is it going to be used in solo queue? Probably. So, I don't know. Also, Forge finally got a lowering of its Booyah Bomb, so you can actually kind of play the game now. Uh, 170p Luna Blaster, because apparently Zookaster weapons just need 170p. Bamboo, uh, 190p Whale, uh, very good, especially since I don't really see that this weapon that often. Um, and I kind of want to try it, but I just can't get over the fact that I had to two-tap someone as a charger. This is why I play Squiffer a lot now, because I like the one-shot better. <laughs> Zinc 190p Bubbler. Um, I also really like this weapon back in it, back when it released. Uh, I haven't been playing it much because I kind of forgot that I don't really use Slatlings. So, um, I don't know. And then here in the Nurse. They made 200 point, um, 200p Trizuka because Trizuka was a problem. 200p Zap. Uh, 210p Trisaucer, which is sad because I really like this weapon, but um, kind of wish it was the same points for special as this. Uh, whatever. Heavy Edit also got 200p, um, but conspicuously there is no pencil, as Prochar pointed out, which means that um, you just might see a lot more pencil in your backline slot. And yeah, that kind of sucks. But like this weapon paints so much more than the other ones. Uh, so like, I don't know. I don't know why Tri Saucer was the one that got hit the most. I'm very interested in the Ink Storm actually. Kind of wish uh, Slider Trout Jr. got it in a kit or <laughs> of all things, Aero Spray. Cause I think it would be funny if they gave Aero Spray an actual niche. Um. Probably not though, cause custom junior, eh, custom jet sculpture exists. But we'll have to see. Thank you for watching. Um, I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Next one should be good. But this was just a quick one, so um, yeah. Watch the second channel.